Hi everyone, today we're going to make some sensory bottles. So I've got some bottles here, just some empty smoothie bottles, they're a good size. And we've got some water and some oil. Now you can use whatever oil you like, but we just had cooking oil from the kitchen, so that's what we're using today. Here's one I've made already. I've got some oil in the top, with some yellow colour. And I've put some red colour in the water. So together, they've separated out now. Watch what happens when you shake them up. It all goes one colour and it goes kind of orangey, doesn't it? So that's our sensory bottle and they'll be separating out as we carry on. So we're going to start with some oil in here. So measure pour in some, some of the oil. And we'll add some yellow colour to the oil. And then I'm going to mix it up. Can you see it? Yes. <laughs> mix it up and shake it. All the color. See the oil is all turning yellow. Wow! Now we're going to add some water. But before we add water, we're going to put some blue food coloring in here with the water first to mix it up. A little bit of blue. So we've got some blue food colouring in the in the glass. We're gonna add some water. And watch the water change colour. <gasps> See it's turning blue? Now so now we're gonna pour it into our sensory bottle. So we've got our yellow oil mixed in already. And we're gonna pour in the blue water. And watch what happens. Can you see how all the water went to the bottom? With the blue colour? So we've got blue on the bottom and we've got yellow on the top. And that's because the oil and the water, they don't like to mix together. They are nothing. Because they're different liquids. Can you see the bubbles of blue? So watch what happens when I shake it and it will change colour. Can you see it's changing to green? So that's what happens when we mix the yellow and the blue, it goes to green. So can you see it's all mixed up? Yes. Mm. So we'll see what will happen with that one now. It's all separating out. And this one's all separating out too. The yellowy orange colour has come back to the top and the red has all gone to the bottom. And that's because the oil and the water, they don't like to mix. And we can also use different materials in our sensory bottles. So we've got a lot of different ones here. Here's one Gina made and it's um, weather themed. So we've got some rainbows in there, we've got blue, we've got sun, we've got some fluffy clouds. So that's one idea for a sensory bottle. Here we've got one with lots of blue and there's glitter and there's the fluffy balls and they're just really cool to watch. You can shake them up and then watch everything change again and float around and then here's another one that Gina made which is an autumn themed one with autumn colours and there's some leaves and some flowers in there too can you hear the sound 
So that's another idea for sensory baffles. You can add um, sound. This one's got some pumpkin seeds in. And we can make sounds with that. Then we've got some more visual ones. This one's got lots of glitter and snowflakes in. Very sparkly. And then I've got some that I made with um, water beads. Can you see them? The Orbeez. And here's another one with some of those and some glitter. And in some of them then I've got some lights as well. So this one has a light. See? So they're all nice ideas for sensory bottles. And this one then is similar to the ones that I made today with some oil in and some water. And we have a dolphin floating in, in the top. And we've got another light in this one. So watch what happens when I shake it. The light goes <laughs> and it changes to all blue. And then you can see it separating again. So the oil is coming to the top again, clear oil. And the blue water is going to the bottom. And that separates out too. So that's just some ideas for sensory bottles. Okay, you can try them at home now. And remember, you can send us on photos as well if you um, make some, some at home. Or you, if you have some other ideas, you can send us on some ideas as well. Okay, bye bye.